Boom dia, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. And for the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu, and yes, I, I am the guy that with his family four years ago sold literally everything he owned, went all into Bitcoin, and started traveling the world, coming to you guys from Lagos in Portugal. In today's video, of course, looking at the Bitcoin charts, really cool charts, also talking about the news that I read this morning during my delicious cup of coffee and taking a look at the bam bam indicator and talking about some family stuff all of this in today's video really cool charts must see because i will show you what the move will be that bitcoin will do now will we go to 40k or will we go to 30k that is the question enjoy today's video guys bam Like you can see on this chart, bam, we can see that Bitcoin is moving kind of sideways. You know, the support is around 31,000 US dollar, this green area. And every time we go there, we bounce up again and we go to 35, 36,000 US dollar. If you look at the chart, you can see that we are forming a pennant. And in this pennant, always when we reach the end of the pennant, we will break out. There is a huge chance that we will break out to the upside because of all the news that I've been reading today. But there is always a chance that we will break down, that we will break down to the downside. To the upside, guys, I will see us breaking 40k then and maybe even take it to 41k. And to the downside, I can foresee us falling back to 30k. So it's a huge move upcoming for Bitcoin. And but I think it really is going to happen because Bitcoin is going sideways. The alts are going crazy. A small alt season we see that popping up. We can see many altcoins running up toward 20%, 30%. This mostly happens when Bitcoin goes sideways like this. But you never know, you never know, because if Bitcoin starts to move, then people will exchange their alts again back into Bitcoin. Really cool chart. Bam! By the way, guys, like I already told you, I'm going to try to shift posting my videos. It takes me a long time to upload my videos here in Portugal. It takes me two to three hours to upload a video. Uh, I want to present you the video every morning around 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock so that you can watch the video during your delicious cup of coffee every morning. I need to get in this new rhythm because it means that I need to record the videos during the day and then add some price movements on the end of the day and then create the video and upload the video to be on time for the morning. So I need to give me some time to get in this rhythm because I was used to work in a different rhythm, you know, make the videos in the morning, edit them and, and upload them. But then you have them every day in the afternoon. So I'm working hard now to change my rhythm so you can change so you can watch your videos every morning six o'clock Portuguese time which is seven o'clock the rest of Europe so hopefully I will succeed I'm just giving it a try if I don't succeed I will fall back to the traditional rhythm but I'm giving it a try let's take a look at the bam bam chart this one bam on this chart you can see that I could have traded the first short but I didn't because I was sleeping that would be a perfect short opportunity because we were below the yellow stepping line. All the indicators were telling me to short. There was a short flag that would be a massive short. I didn't take that short because I was sleeping at that time. I did trade the other two trades that day. I traded with 200 US dollar with a leverage of 10, like you can see on Bybit. If you want to sign up to any exchange, Bybit, you get a $90 deposit bonus. Use my referral links. Do that, a $300 deposit bonus. Use my referral links. And Prime XBT, a 50% deposit bonus. Use my referral link. I said, use my referral link now four times, and this will be the last time. Please use my referral links down below the video in the comments if you want to sign up to one of these exchanges bam like you can see guys on the chart the first trade was a long it was a long with around 24 percent profit so we turned to 200 us dollar into 250 us dollar and then there was a second trade again along uh, with a 30 percent profit which converted the 250 dollar into a 330 us dollar so that was a 130 dollar profit on sunday and I only traded two trades, guys, because I was doing a live on the beach, like you know. And after that, I jumped into the jacuzzi 
and now I just didn't want to get out the jacuzzi anymore. So that was why I only traded twice. But still, it's a $130 profit. That is how you stack sets. Bam! Let's jump into the next part of the video. The video where I talk to you. Let's, let's jump into the next part of the video, the blockchain news part, where I talk to you about the news that I read this morning. This part. Bam! Because I just told you that I thought that we would go to 40k instead of 30k and that's always because of the news. And the news is so positive at the moment. Check this first news article, this one. It's about Canada. The ex-Prime Minister of Canada announced that he think that Bitcoin could be a reserve currency. Which means that Bitcoin is going to be added as a reserve currency to the list and is one of the currencies that is backing up the whole monetary system. So when an ex-prime minister of a country, I think he was nine years prime minister, is saying something like this, you know where there is smoke, there is fire. They have been discussing this in politics because else an ex-prime minister would not say this. An ex-prime minister, an ex-prime minister would only say this when they would have been discussing this somewhere in life or in one of their meetings. So in my opinion, a lot of prime ministers already know this and they all know that Bitcoin could be acting as this next reserve currency. And we all know that Canada already has its own CBDC, Central Bank's Digital Currency. At least they are working on it. So yes, maybe this new CBDC will be backed up by Bitcoin as a reserve currency. And then Canada would be added to the list of all countries that are embracing Bitcoin and not fighting Bitcoin. Really cool news. Some more very positive news. I don't know if you remember from the 2017 period, I think it was Pantera Capital. It was one of the huge funds, the Bitcoin funds, and they just announced they think that the Bitcoin price will be 115,212 US dollar exactly in August 2021 which is not even a strange idea that we would reach that price on the 1st of August 2021, so 115,212 exactly. <laughs> because if we look at the average growth of Bitcoin after the halving with this chart, we can see that it could be possible that we reach that price in August this year. Check this chart. Bam! On this chart, you see, I think, four lines. So the Bitcoin price after the 2012 halving has a purple line. The Bitcoin price after the 2016 halving, that one has a green line. And after the 2020 halving, has a blue line. The average of all these lines after the halving, that one is the yellow line. So the yellow line is the average of those three lines, price movements of Bitcoin after the halving. So if we would follow this yellow line, we would see a price of 115,212 in August this year. Of course, we could also follow the 2012 or the 2016 or even lower. Maybe we can create a lower line, all possible in Bitcoin. But if we would use this average line to predict the price, it would be 115,212 around August this year. Bam! We can also see a huge shift between 2017 and 2020. If we look to this chart, bam, on this chart, we can see that in 2017, Bitcoin and Ethereum in total represented 52% of the total value in crypto. Now, in 2020, that is not 52%, but it's 86%. So Bitcoin and Ethereum are representing 86% of the total value in crypto. That leaves 14% left for the other 5,000 cryptocurrencies. This is a huge shift. Of course, in 2017, there was a lot of money involved with the ICOs, which made Bitcoin and Ethereum only hold 50% of the value. But now, because of all these institutional investors, they are only believing in Bitcoin, Ethereum, some of them in Ripple, not me, Litecoin, the bigger ones. So they play it a little bit more safe. And that is why we can see this huge shift from retail investors in 5,000 different ICOs into institutional investors in the top three coins. And that is why Bitcoin and Ethereum now represent 
86% of the total value of cryptocurrency. A really important shift to keep an eye on because this could mean that of the 5,000 other cryptocurrencies, many will not survive this bull run again because all the money will be drawn out of these currencies and put into the top currencies. So then these currencies lose value and then they come close to zero. And that is how a currency is not liquid anymore and cannot continue the business. And that is how a lot of these projects can die. And if you want to know why I think that these institutional investors are making the huge shift, then just take a look at Grayscale. Grayscale just had a record day of 700 million. They raised 700 million US dollar in one day for the Bitcoin fund. That's a record day. That's the biggest amount of assets raised in one day ever. That is huge. And Bitcoin made this possible. Yes, it is not any kind of stock. It had this huge raise in assets. It's cryptocurrency. It is Bitcoin that created the biggest raise in assets ever. That is why I believe that these institutional investors are playing this game big, big, big time. And even Coinbase now needs to top up his game. So they're going to rebuild the whole infrastructure so that they won't have outages every time again when Bitcoin makes these crazy moves and people try to get their funds or their Bitcoins out of Coinbase, Coinbase crashes. So they are now updating their system so they won't crash anymore in the future because also they understand that Bitcoin will be doing way more of these huge runs which will be able to crash the whole system. So they are updating their complete system. Finally, Coinbase, after like how many years in crypto already? Comment down below how many years Coinbase is already in crypto and how many years Coinbase is already crashing because of these huge moves Bitcoin is making. Bam! But that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends and family, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. I thank you for watching this video today again. Please always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again.